You all have watched the news once in a while. It's not really a massive deal anymore as we are used to whatever the world throws at us nowadays. But in one way or another, it does help warn us about the deranged maniacs that roam around this same planet we live on. Murderers, kidnappers, robbers, all those sort of people. However, none of these people are as mysteriously intriguing with their case as the tax man. One day when I was watching the news, I heard some announcement saying that a guy nicknamed the Tex Man was recently arrested. Judging by the images and the recording, he almost always wore a costume consisting of a full body wear made out of tin foil, a red cap, and a red shirt. I assumed that this guy was just another one of those lol cows people bother on the internet, so I didn't pay any mind to him at first and went on my PC afterwards. The moment I went to search up something, I noticed that the news about his arrest was everywhere, with various people expressing relief that he was finally put behind bars. I was confused about this at first when I still thought this guy was a lol cow, since usually people like those don't really appear on mainstream news channels aside from the occasional person finding them or pointing out their crimes. I decided to investigate for more information on him, and boy what a rabbit hole it was. Turns out this Tex Man person was actually a mass kidnapper who was active since 2018. The way he often found victims was being under a guise of a user named Tex THX 355, who had a profile picture featuring a character by the name of THX Tex, or just simply Tex. He often asked people questions related to the character and if they enjoyed media related to the THX company. If the unfortunate victim was to answer no or to express annoyance at him assuming he was another one of those THX kids, he would comment, have it your way, if you so want it, and proceed to track down the user's location. If the victim answers the door he rung or knocked on, they would be met by the text man himself. Usually immediately after he arrives, he would rush towards the victim and shove a pill down their throat to knock them out, after which he places them in a bag and walks to his house to put them in a room filled with his other victims. Unlike most kidnappers however, the tex man wasn't looking for ransoms or people to murder, he simply wanted playthings for his twisted game. After he arrives into the room, he would get the victim out of the bag he puts them in, make sure that they're still knocked out, and then he would put some sort of helmet-like device over their head. This device puts them into the Tex Man's game, where the victims are various animated characters from other franchises, such as SpongeBob and Shrek, hell, even the Teletubbies and the Pink Panther. The Tex Man's avatar for the game was simply an edited version of the Tex character with more dulled colors and has a sadistic grin on his face. The character had many options of weapons he could choose from to kill the victim's characters in violent ways. Whenever he killed all of them, the characters would respawn in a different area with the Tex Man's character also appearing, beginning another round of the infinite ones he has. The man had about 77 people that were inside his game room before he got arrested, with about 45 escaping once they woke up, making his total kidnapped victims a shocking count of 122. Presumably more than any other kidnapping that happened in my area. After reading more about why everyone was happy to see him arrested, I was joyed that he was caught, but however knowing how criminals escape, I became paranoid over the few days. I felt slightly unsafe whenever I slept, convinced that he would break in and brainwash me into being a plaything, and I was more cautious on messaging apps and chat rooms, worrying that he may come and ask one of those dreaded questions. Let's just say that we simply have to be careful who you talk to and leave it at that, shall we?